Okay, now we're gonna go over an example of a present value problem, of a lump sum problem. Um, let's say that we have an example where, you know, I will pay you $500 in four years. Okay, let's say that I, I just need, need some cash. I'm gonna pay you back $500 in four years, okay? How much are you gonna be willing to pay for that, okay? How much are you gonna be able to be willing to pay for this $500 cash flow in four years, okay? So we now have to come up with a discount rate, which is gonna be that R, okay? And we're trying to figure out how much compensation do you actually need, okay? So what we're looking at here is opportunity cost. Uh, there's gonna be opportunity cost for letting some cash out. Let's say that you, know, you have a 5% base that you could do with your money otherwise. And then there's also this thing about risk, right? You don't really know me. You don't know where you're gonna be able to find me uh, and all that other kind of stuff. So let's say that here, we, we have a required return here of 20%. That's what you need in compensation is 20%, okay? Now we have enough information for us to figure out how much this cash flow is worth. We know that it's gonna be $500 four years from now, so it's not gonna be worth $500 to us right now, okay? So we need to come back and we need to figure this out. How much is this worth to us today, right now? That's gonna be based off of our present value here. Present value equals future value divided by one plus R to the T power. Okay, we have a future value of $500. That is what it is worth to us in four years. We have a future value of four, in four years of $500. We then put this over our discount rate, which is that 1.2, one plus R. And then that is raised to the fourth power because it is coming four years from now. And that tells us we have a present value in the amount of $241.13, right? We do the math through, comes out $241.13. Okay, so that's saying that for at a 20% discount rate, you would be willing to give me $241.13 in exchange for in four years from now, I will give you $500, okay? Now, the important thing to remember is that the amount of this discount, the greater the discount rate is, the lower the present value is going to be. Now, let's say we're gonna change this, okay? You find out, hey, I'm your next door neighbor. Great, maybe that's gonna be a less risk to you. So you're gonna say, all right, this only has a 10% required return. Okay, we're still gonna put this in the same context, 500 divided by 1.1 to the fourth power, right? Because it's still coming in four years, but your, uh, your risk tolerance here, it has decreased, right? You have a lower required return there. So what do you think is going to happen to the present value? Is the amount that you're willing to loan me going to increase or decrease? The value, it should increase, right? Because we have a lower amount of our discount here which means that this $500 cash flow in four years is now worth to us $341.51. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. When we, have the, when we reduce our, our, our discount rate, the, when R decreases, that means that the present value is going to increase, okay? All else equal, okay? So this was just an example of what happens, how we actually discount that back, what the, we take a future value and then we bring that back to a present value.